Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. As you can see, the sun is not shining at all today. The weather is atrocious, but instead of having a gaming day like me and Big Z usually would, we have decided to open up our very own mechanic shop. We're gonna be tuning up people's cars, making lots of money. How did we get this brilliant idea, you ask? No. It's not because we were hoping Optimus Prime himself could drive right into our garage and ask for a tune-up, but because Papa Jake and Logan just entered themselves into an F1 box fort race, and the video is launching on their channel very soon, so make sure to keep an eye out for it. But Pixie, what are we waiting for? Why don't we show the Phil fam off the garage we got going? Follow me. I am the head engineer after all. Well, did the head engineer at least order some notice for the workers? Of course I did, Phil. I keep my employees Always happy. Whoa, 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 who are you calling an employee? I'm the boss. Hey, no, I'm the boss. I'm the head engineer. I'm the guy who gets those cars fixed up in tip top shape. You'd be putting on tires, new wheels, fix the transmission, the suspension. You name it, Phil. I'm your guy to do it. All right, and here we are, Phil fam. Welcome to me and Big Z's garage. As you can see, we've got the doors opened up. People can drive their cars right up the driveway into the shop. Phil, look, we have cars lined up already waiting to come in. Yeah, Big Z, those are our cars. They aren't exactly paying customers, and we're gonna need paying customers so we can make some money and pay rent in this place. Oh yeah, those are our cars. But what do you mean paying rent? What, you think Papa Jake letting us run a mechanic shop in his garage for free? I had to pay him 100 tape rolls to rent out this place. Whoa, whoa, you paid him 100 tape rolls? Philly totally took advantage of you. This place is worth like five tape rolls. Come on. Are you kidding me? We got our very own Xbox. In case the day's not going as busy as we planned it to, it came with two walkie-talkies so we can communicate with one another. We have cell phones for that. Plus, we're gonna be like five feet apart. Cell phones are a thing of the past, Big Z. Check out how cool this is. Hello, Big Z, do you read me? Big Z, over and out. Yes, Phil, you're standing right beside me. Whoa, 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 you didn't say over and out. Yeah, Phil, Big Z, oh. I'm right here. You're standing right beside me. I don't need to say over and out. Okay, well this garage also came with a lot of other cool things. I mean, just check out this box for a racer. Okay, we have a race car, which is pretty cool, and we already have a customer. How many tape rolls do you think we should charge this person for? To fix this thing up? At least 25 tape rolls. Four more customers and we've already made the 100 tape rolls back. Now, if I do say so myself, Bigsy, I think you, as the head engineer as you claimed, should get to working on this vehicle while I go play some Xbox. That is not fair. I didn't agree to this. You get to play Xbox while I have to work on a car that I'm not actually sure how to fix. We could settle this the old fashioned way. What do you mean? You, me, one lap around the racetrack. Winner gets to play Xbox. Loser has to work on the car. You're wrong, and you're going down. <laughs> and I am ready for this race. But where's Big Z? Oh yeah, are you ready, Phil? <laughs> we did not say dirt bikes were allowed. Hey, we didn't specify in what car we could drive. How am I supposed to beat a dirt bike? I'm in a drifter. That's for you to figure out, Phil. But what are the rules for this race? With you on that dirt bike, Looks like there are no rules, Big Z. See you at the finish line! Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> hey, what are you doing, Phil? That's cheating! <laughs> wow, we might actually win this! Oh no, oh no! <laughs> oh, I'm catching him! I'm beating him! Big Z, I what I'm talking about. Phil, what took you so long? Looks like I forgot to charge the car before the race. Well, Phil, if you took it to Phil and Bigsy's mechanic shop and uh, paid, you know, the proper tape rolls for it, we would get your car suited up with nitrous and full power so you would never lose a race. Come on down to Phil and Bigsy's mechanic shop and get your car fixed today. Yep, you are not wrong about that. Looks like you won. I'll be working on this racer and you can enjoy yourself some Fortnite. Sounds like a pretty good deal to me. Pass me a wrench. I'm not supposed to help you. I was supposed to be playing Fortnite. I'm already underneath the car. Can you just pass me a wrench? Thank you. All right, Bigsy. Just like that, though. Bigs, where did Bigs go? Haha, -ha. I'll use my walkie talkie. Hello, friendly Phil speaking. Bigsy, where are you? Sorry, Phil. I decided to take lunch. You're taking way too long on that car. Lunch? It's only 11 o'clock! Don't worry, Phil. You can handle the shop. Plus, I skipped breakfast. Fine. 
but I'm taking lunch after. It looks like in the meantime, I can place him for now. Uh, hello, sir. How are you? Welcome to Film Business Mechanics. How can I help you? Good evening. I was looking for someone to fix my pristine car that has had some misfortunes to it in recent memory. Oh, wow. A red Mustang. That's a nice car. Yeah, we can for sure fix this up for you. What are you looking to have done? My seat is a little loose and it is affecting my bottom. Plus, the engine is getting a little, how do you say, chug chug, chug chug. Mmm, chug chug, chug chug. That's the worst. Yes, and don't forget to give me a wash. I want to be squeaky clean. Okay, I mean, we can definitely fix the seat, take a look at the engine, and and are you sure you want to wash? This is what I said, is it not? I will pay good money, just get it done, and I need it soon. Okay, perfect. I will take a look at the car and uh, give you a wash. Okay, perfect. We got it on the stand. Now let's see what's wrong with this seat. Oh, okay, it comes right off. But with a flathead screwdriver, I think we can get this thing back on in no time. And lucky for me, we got ourselves our electric screwdriver right here with a flathead tip. And this seat should be fixed in no time. Woohoo! And just like that, that seat ain't going nowhere. Now time to look at the engine. Phil! How we doing? Oh, not too bad, Bigsy! We actually got our first customer! I'm just finishing up his engine now! Alright! I'm proud of you! You did a good job, and I had a good lunch. Alright! One car already down. Why don't you help me get this thing out to the street? The man who asked us to fix it should be back any minute. You go put it out front. I gotta get a bucket of water ready. This guy asked me to wash him. I don't know why. Wash him? Phil, are you sure you didn't mean the car? Oh, hello there, mister. Your car is completely done and ready. I'll be the judge of that. Oh, the seat looks perfect. Oh, yeah! We do know what we're doing at Phil and Biggs' Mechanics. One thing I am not particularly fond of with my experience is the car's not looking too pristine. My goodness, I completely forgot. You asked for a wash. I did, yes. I did ask for a wash. And make sure you get all the good parts oh, in there. Oh, here's your wash! I don't wanna... No! What are you doing? You got, you got me soaked! This is the worst place ever! You asked for a wash! I gave you a wash! I did find it a little strange that you didn't want your car washed, but, but you're squeaky clean now! Boys are terrible. I'm taking my business somewhere else next time. We, we still have a deal, right? The tape rules? No! No tape rules for you! What? Oh, no. Phil, are you almost done lunch? I'm bored! Hurry up, I want to play some duo! I should be done in 10 minutes, alright? I just got here! And say over and out! Over and out! Okay, over and out. Oh, okay. I didn't do anything. I paid my taxes. We, we rent out this place. I've done nothing wrong. Hello there, sir. You must be, well, Phil and Biggs. It is Phil and Biggs mechanic after all, isn't it? Right, we're a, we're a shop. So you're, you're not here to arrest me, right? I'm not here to arrest you yet, but I arrest people for a living. So if I have to arrest you, I will. No, 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 there's no need to arrest me. I assume you came into the shop today because there's something wrong with your motorbike? I think I can help you. You can help me. My sirens, they don't seem to be working. It must be an electrical problem. Do you think you could get them working? I'd pay you 25 tape rolls. 25 tape rolls? Yes! Of course I can get your sirens working. Leave it with me, come back in half an hour, and I'll have them in tip-top shape. All right, but remember, if you get them up and working, do not turn them on. Only a police officer can turn on his sirens. Hello! Bless you. You should get that checked on. Now fix my life. I don't want to make him mad, so I better make sure that I handle this with extreme caution. Because I don't want to go to jail. Let's take a look at these mechanics and see how I can fix the lights. Oh, this is intricate. But I mean, if I fiddle around with these wires for long enough, I think I'll get the lights up and running. Oh no! Oh no, that's not good! <laughs> oh no! Ah! Go, go, turn off! Hey! Hey! Turn off! Stop! Stop! Turn off! Okay, please, please, please stop! Uh, I know what you want! No, 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 turn off! Okay, car, talk to me, listen, turn off! <gasps> What's going on with my car? Hey! Hey, you! 
What? What'd you do to my car? Why is there so much smoke? Why are the sirens going off? I told you you can't be turning on the lights. I, I didn't. I didn't mean to. It's not like I was trying to uh, disobey the law. Well, where are you Let's trying to disobey the law? You're on the run. Why are you doing this you to me? You have a right to remain silent. I'm. Anything you say or do will be used against you well, in the court of law. I don't want to be silent. I don't want to go to jail. You're coming with me. Oh no! Hey. Disrespecting a police vehicle like that. Big Z, you should be ashamed of yourself. Going on. You feel fam? Why is there police officer taking away Big Z right now? And why is there a police motorcycle smoking on our bench? What did I miss? Also, what is going on here? He should. Wait, wait, orange, orange. Oh, oh, yep, yep, donuts. That's me, Phil, Bixie, mechanic shop, right? Perfect. Thank you very much, sir. No problem. I'm just gonna take one. Uh, what? Hey, actually, you know what? Bixie's not here. You can have his. Oh, Phil, fam. Looks like me and Bixie might be the worst mechanics of all time, but we got ourselves some sprinkle donuts. We must have made at least a couple tape rolls, and I'm sure Biggs will be let out of prison in no time. Phil, what's going on in here? Oh, Logan, um, nothing's going on in here. I'm just playing some Xbox. Doesn't look like you're just playing Xbox. Phil, this looks like a full-on garage. Oh, yeah, no, don't mind any of this stuff. I actually don't even know how it got here. Don't know how it got here? Phil, that's all my car cleaning stuff. Well, you weren't exactly using it, so I thought I'd lay it out so you'd have the opportunity to next time you wanted to. I thought Jake shut down this whole car operation business. No, no, he actually said I could use the garage. I just had to pay him 100 tape rolls. Did you ever pay him those 100 tape rolls? Well, not exactly. I mean, we gotta, we gotta start the business before we can actually provide the tape rolls. But we got donuts. You want one? Don't mind if I do. And uh, I'd get this cleaned up before Jake comes back. Right, yeah, no, consider it done. Mechanic shop closed. Also, why was Biggs getting taken away in handcuffs? Uh, don't worry about that, Logan. Don't worry about that at all. 